Well, thanks for tuning in. We wanted to get back to you today just to bring you up to speed on what's going on with the ICE medical form that we discussed in the recent resident quarterly meeting. And first, we want to apologize for the delay in getting this out to you. Uh, the reason for the delay is that we have had a couple of changes that have gone on since we spoke with you last. One thing is, in speaking with the Emergency Medical Response Department, we learned that they have a preferred location for this form and that it would be put on top of your refrigerator. So we wanted to just bring you up to speed on what we're going to do and what you can expect in the coming week. Next week, you're going to receive a clear plastic sleeve in your mailbox with two forms called a resident ICE medical form. So I'd like to explain to you further what the ICE medical form is. ICE stands for in case of emergency. And this form is a very commonly known form within the Lee Health System. Our emergency responders locally are very well familiar with this. The local hospitals actually give out this form to the greater community of Fort Myers and it really is for your medical and contact information so that if an emergency responder acts on your behalf in your apartment, everything is very handy for you and it's up to date at any given time. And on this form, you can list your current health information, any uh, medications that you're taking, any health diagnoses, and make a photocopy of your driver's license and insurance card. Um, but also in that packet, you'll receive a cover letter and on the cover letter, it will describe where you put this packet. And it's actually been decided that it will no longer be on the back side of the cabinet door under your kitchen sink because um, the emergency medical department typically goes to the refrigerator to look for it. And we anticipate that several of you will come back to us with feedback on this location. Um, saying maybe it should be on the side of the refrigerator or you feel that the back side of the cabinet door under the sink was a more discreet location. We've already received quite a bit of feedback from residents on their preferences, but the emergency medical response department does prefer it on top of the refrigerator. And the reason that that is more advantageous here at Shell Point is that we have many apartment styles where the cabinets come up to the sides, both the right and the left of the refrigerators. So, Again, it will be on the top of your refrigerator in a clear plastic sleeve um, with your updated medical information. There will be two forms in each of your mailboxes in case you have a second person in your apartment. And we ask you to make multiple copies of this form because if emergency medical department comes and they take your first sheet, um, it will be missing when they respond to you in the case of an emergency, so you would need a second form. And we know that sometimes that can be a cumbersome task to update that information and make copies, but we have someone here with us today who is extremely helpful and would love to partner with you in making sure that this is easy and convenient for you at any given time. Sure, right. The Legacy Foundation would love to help our residents uh, complete the forms if they need some help with that. Uh, if they need copies of a driver's license, their insurance card, any of that sort of information, or they need to pick up an extra form, we'd be happy to help them. So we'll be the uh, sort of the, the clearinghouse for ICE forms here at Shell Point. Um, and as well, most residents, uh, many of our residents might want to also put in some copies of their healthcare advanced directives in that plastic sleeve. That's a great idea. So a copy of their healthcare surrogate, living will, uh, those sorts of forms would be great to keep in there as well. So um, just contact the Legacy Foundation at 466-8484 and we're happy to help our residents uh, at any time with the, the ICE forms. Perfect, and you'll have extras right there in the office. We with will your have team. extras. I mean, it's an, it's an important information. I know uh, many times our residents complete these important forms, and yet they're put away in places that nobody will ever discover. Right. Uh, my parents had a bread box in the back of their closet. They put all their stuff in there. Um, but these this is information that needs to be readily available. Yep. So as you mentioned, on the top of the refrigerator, and it's a, not a bad idea to make a copy, put it in your glove box in your car, if you're traveling, make a copy, stick it in your luggage. Um, so it's really important to have these documents readily available in case of an emergency. You know, that's a good point. I was just at a seminar this morning with Inga, and she reminded um, the folks that were attending to give copies of any important information to adult children, to anybody yeah. that would need to have them in the case of an emergency. Yeah. So um, that's a great point. Just make multiple copies and give them to loved ones if needed and keep them up to date. Sure. And you'll be so helpful in helping the residents we'll do that. We'll be happy to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for tuning in and hearing a little bit more about these forms. Again, we want to apologize for the delay in getting them out to you, but we think it'll be a great initiative for all Shell Point residents that are in independent living to have these forms. And 
want you to feel the confidence that the emergency medical department has been in touch with Adam Hines and they're familiar with the right location to have these forms and they anticipate to train all of their staff on the location where they will be and have that in all of their manuals and their action date is April 1st. So we would ask you to fill out these forms um, as you receive them before the end of March and have them installed on the top of your refrigerator by April 1st. And then you can have confidence that if there is an emergency, you have your forms nice and handy and the emergency medical department will know right where to go.